Welcome to episode number 201 of Breakfast with Sergio, and today we're going to talk about rest and reset. Well, hello, my friend. Welcome back to Breakfast with Sergio. Super happy to be here again. This is episode number 201. It wasn't too long ago that I just celebrated my 200th episode, and today we start a new season of Breakfast with Sergio. Super happy. And today I want to talk to you about rest and reset, something that will help you avoid overwhelm in the long run as an artist. You know, if you are running at a fast pace, if you have a lot of things on your plate, Rest and reset is a principle that can help you out. But before I talk about that, what's on my plate? Thank you for coming to my table. Well, my friends, I have with me uh, little pancakes here, which uh, I call it uh, skinny cakes because it's like a pancake, but skinny, you know, like skinny jeans, like very, th very thin pancakes. And I love them. I just made them uh, yesterday and they are super, super good. I, uh, in the mix of the pancake, I also put blueberries and strawberries in the whole mix and then make them really thin. And they are great, my kids love them, and I love them too. Well, my friend, today I wanna to talk about rest and reset, a really powerful combination. You know, we're used to uh, resting. When we are tired, we rest. Maybe over the weekend, we rest. Or when, you know, after a season that's been busy, we rest. But not always we do a reset. Reset is a very powerful combination, you know, rest and reset. So I wanna talk a little bit about that, particularly because I just did that myself. If you notice, depends where you consume breakfast with Sergio, if you watch it on Facebook or if you watch it on Instagram, you have noticed that last week there were no new episodes. I was just sharing some of the old ones, some of the oldies, but there were no new episodes of breakfast with Sergio. Why? It's because I took a break. I decided after 200 episodes, back to back, nonstop, for uh, three times a week, right? Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, that's when a new episode comes out. Took me about a year and a half to get to 200 episodes, and I said I need a break. I need a break. I need to, you know, take a take it slow. I'm gonna celebrate my 200 episode. Celebrate that. Take a break. Don't even think about it, and then reset. You know, take a couple of days not to think about it. Uh, usually, the way it works is once I do an episode of Rafa with Sergio. You know, as soon as it's done and it's everywhere in social media, then I start thinking right away about what's the next topic, right? Uh, sometimes I plan a few topics ahead of time so I know what's coming uh, because I only have one day in between during the week and then two, you know, two, three, two days in between on the weekends to prepare and think about the next episode. So, you know, it takes a lot of thinking and planning. So uh, a break and reset for me look like, you know, just forgetting about it for a few days and then going back at it and click the reset button. And that's a powerful combination that I want to talk about today because maybe some of you guys um, have been, or maybe you, you know, right now, have been on a very busy season in your art career. Maybe you just finished a body of work. Maybe you just finished a big work or an important work or an important commission. Maybe you just finished from a show or participating in an event or came back from a residency program or something. Maybe you just did something or you are about to do that or maybe you are just running tired and you need to a break and reset. So what does that look like for you? Well, break and reset, you know, break, the break part can take as long as you need. Uh, for some of you, it might be just a day, two days, three days. For me, it was a whole week. I needed to take a whole week of a break of break with Sergio, you know, so that I could, you know, just rest from thinking about it. So you have to think about, you know, what a break looks like for you. You know, for some of you might be longer, for some of you might be shorter. Again, depends on your circumstances. So let's talk about the reset part of it. Yeah, the reset part of it. Well, the reset part of it is uh, during your break, as you're going through this break, uh, take some time to say, okay, I'm going to click the reset button. You know, when you have a phone and like it's running slow or sometimes any other electronic device, there's usually a reset button that you click, goes back to the, to the default settings and it's kind of like if it was new again. That's the, you know, the idea behind the reset. So the reason in your art career would be, or you know, after the show or after whatever happened, in this case for me was after 200 episodes of Rehab Research, was like, okay, I'm gonna click on reset. And what does that mean? The reset is asking myself some hard questions, right? Do I want to go back to that thing I took a break from, right? Do I wanna go back and do episode 201, 202, 203, right? You know, am I still excited about it? Am I still in love with this thing I took a break from? Because this, what I was doing, it got me tired, right? 
So it's a worthwhile going back to that. It's a worthwhile going back to that series. It's a go worthwhile to go back to whatever it is you were doing, or do you need to do something different? You know, do I need to take some um, new measures to make sure I don't get burned out the next time around? Uh, maybe you were not even burned out, but just to prevent getting burned out, you know, in the future, uh, maybe that's why you took the break and that was great. So, you know, do I need to take another break another time? Also, you know, am I going to commit the same way? You know, am I going to commit in a shorter time or a longer time? You know, what's the commitment I'm going to do as I get back to that thing? Do I still feel excited about it, right? Do I still feel excited about going back to whatever I took a break from? If you don't feel excited about it, going back to it, it's going to feel, you know, like a drudge. It's going to feel like, you know, going back to something you hate or something, not necessarily you hate, maybe something you just don't like or it's just gonna feel heavy again. It's like when you are working in a, in a job that you don't like, you take a break and then you go back and then you, you feel like, oh, you know, I can't believe I'm going back to this again, right? So you gotta think about that. So and that's what the reset is all about. It's taking a little bit of time for yourself, introspection, thinking about, you know, both in the brain and in the heart, right? In the brain is like, you know, it's logical for me to go back to it. How am I going to go back to it? Uh, is it gonna be the same? Is it gonna be different? Uh, and then in the heart, am I still excited about it? Do I still feel good about it? How, what does my gut and my heart tell me? Do I still feel like I can't wait to get started again? And that, my friend, that's a powerful combination of rest and reset. So, you know, make sure, say that with me, rest and reset, something that you should do you know, in your art career, practice that in your art career, and it will help you after the break to get back with more exciting, uh, you know, energy, with more power, with more enthusiasm, and you're gonna be super, super excited to go back. So my friend, as I go back to episode 201, after I rest and reset, let me tell you, I am super excited about this. I'm still in love with breakfast with Sergio, with this thing, I'm super, Thankful for all of you for watching 200 episodes. We are starting a brand new season. Welcome back to my table. I'm super happy about this, my friend. So if you enjoy this episode, one thing I'm gonna ask you is think about rest and reset. When is your next rest and reset time? We all need it. Even from your studio work, sometimes you need rest and reset. It could be just one day. It could be just one day of rest and reset or more. You know, depends what your body needs, depends what your mind needs. But it's a very powerful combination. Don't miss it. It is awesome. Rest and reset is an awesome thing. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, my friend. If you want to check out more of the resources that I have for you and for your art career, just go to my website at www.theartistnextlevel.com and check out all the things I have for you and for your art career. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next episode of Rehab with Sergio. Goodbye.